Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Natalie Portman showed off her summer style as she enjoyed a casual outing with her two children in the Los Feliz neighborhood of L.A. on Monday. The Black Swan actress, 43, who recently stunned while rocking a chic ensemble in New York City, joined her son, Aleph, 13, and daughter Amalia, 7, to grab tasty ice cream during an errand run. The Oscar winner shares her children with ex-husband Benjamin Millipede, whom she was married to from 2012 until their divorce was finalized earlier this year in March. Portman flaunted her toned legs in a pair of high-waisted, denim shorts while also sporting a black tank top that contained a lace trim. She slipped into a pair of open-toed, Birkenstock sandals and carried a gray, Dior tote bag over her shoulder to hold items she needed during the daytime excursion. The star's brunette locks were parted in the middle and effortlessly flowed down to brush her shoulders in natural waves. Natalie opted to not wear any flashy pieces of jewelry, but wore a pair of stylish black shades to protect her eyes from the bright, California sunshine. The beauty was also seen sipping on a cold, fizzy root beer from Boylan Bottling Company to stay refreshed in the hot temperatures. Portman was accompanied by her two children while also grabbing ice cream as they spent quality time together. When it comes to beauty and fashion, she told LUK earlier this year that becoming a mother helped her to appreciate beauty more. She explained to the outlet that, when I became a mom, I think I really began to appreciate beauty as a way to pamper myself and feel good and glamorous. It's often a way for women to pamper and take care of each other, when we're so often responsible for caring for other people, whether it's children or parents. The May-December star also added, it's quite a beautiful ritual to have these moments together. After tying the knot with French dancer, Benjamin Millipede, in 2012, the former couple welcomed their son and daughter. However, in July 2023, Natalie filed for divorce from the choreographer amid rumors that he had an affair. In March of this year, the divorce was finalized. During an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon earlier this month, she reflected on how meeting Rihanna amidst going through the divorce was a formative moment. She stated, I think everyone going through a divorce should get Rihanna to say to her that she's a bad b asterisk 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 asterisk. It was exactly what I needed. The two notably crossed paths in January during Paris Fashion Week, with the actress revealing, it was a formative moment in my life. Portman has been filtering through a busy schedule and recently turned heads while out in New York City earlier last week. She wowed in a black romper that contained a hem that stopped inches above her knees, and also added a cropped, black blazer on top. The award-winning actress also donned a pair of open-toed, black heels that were secured with thin straps that wrapped around her ankles. Natalie had the chance to flaunt the look as she visited Sirius XM Studios in the heart of the Big Apple to promote her latest Apple TV miniseries, Lady in the Lake, which officially premiered on July 19. Alongside the actress, other stars that were cast in the project, which is based on the novel of the same name written by Laura Lippman, included Moses Ingram, Mikey Madison, Elin Noel, and also Brett Gelman. The premise is, in 60s Baltimore, an aspiring reporter pursues the murder of a forgotten young woman, per an official IMDb synopsis. During an interview with La Facile earlier this month, the star opened up about transitioning to her first TV role. The format of telling a story in a series format allows for such intricacy of character and so much more space to develop a story. It obviously has been so impressive as a medium, she explained. Some of the best storytelling of our times has been in the series format. I also got to work with Alma Harel, the series creator, writer, and director, who I just worship and adore, in a close way. Natalie further reflected on meeting Rihanna in Paris and told the outlet, it was just like a dream. I've been such a big fan of hers for such a long time. Her music means so much to me, and I was so excited to see her. I thought I was just going to go up and tell her that I was a big fan. So it was just a...